Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at recent buy ratings from a top 1% tech analyst. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at some stocks that recently picked up buy ratings from a top ranked analyst. That would be Mark Lipicus from Evercore ISI. He is currently ranked number four out of over 8,700 Wall Street analysts. With a success rate of 69%, he has an average return of over 31% in the last year. And you can see on the right here earlier this week, he went on quite the rating spree, updating price targets on over 20 tech stocks. Of course, he covers big tech names like NVIDIA, Intel, and Broadcom, but I figured today we'd narrow in on some stocks that don't get quite as much attention. So I narrowed down the list looking at a few stocks that he gave the biggest upside potentials to, plus had a pretty solid success rate on. So we're going to take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, how Mark weighs in on the stock, and what the rest of Wall Street thinks. Before we get into that, this is your reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Also, hockey playoffs start this weekend. Go Bruins! If you're going to be watching, let me know what team you'll be cheering for in the comments down below. Now let's get right into our three tech stocks. First up, we're going to take a look at NXP Semiconductors. They trade under the ticker NXPI, currently priced at $216 per share. Their stock has climbed over 31% in the past year and is up slightly about 0.6% over the last three months. NXP is a Netherlands-based semiconductor company. With a presence in over 30 countries, they provide various semiconductor products, including microcontrollers, application processors, communication processors, wireless connectivity solutions, analog and interface devices, and more. Their products are used in a range of applications from automotive, identification, mobile consumer, computing, wireless infrastructure, and industrial. Last year, NXP had over $13 billion in revenue. Their Q1 earnings report will be coming up next week on April 29th and does follow a Q4 earnings beat a few months ago. For their Q1, analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of $3.18, fairly in line with last year's. This follows their fourth quarter where they reported earnings per share of $3.71, coming in six cents ahead of analysts' expectations. Revenue for the fourth quarter was $3.42 billion, which was up 3% year over year. The company does also pay a quarterly dividend, currently at $1.01 .01 per share, for a dividend yield of 1.79%. Our top analyst Mark weighed in on the stock with a buy, saying that he viewed NXP as a tectonic shift play. Saying that the company is a key supplier into the emerging Internet of Things market, which is expected to grow to tens of billions of units. NXP offers one of the greatest growth stories in the analog complex given its strong auto product cycles. He's given the NXP stock a price target of $300 which would imply an upside potential of 38.71%, and on the NXPI stock, Mark does have a success rate of 72%. Altogether, the stock does have 18 current analyst ratings, and they are a bit divided. It comes in as a moderate buy with 10 buy ratings and 8 holds. The average price target comes in at $255, which would be an upside of 17.8%. Down below, looking at our most recent ratings, Mark is actually our street high here at $300. There are a couple other analysts also at that same price target, and we have several in the 30% range here. Our low-end price target is a hold back in February with a downside of over 4%. Another one of Mark's recent stock ratings is on LAM Research. They trade under the ticker LRCX, currently priced at $874 per share. Their stock has climbed 69% in this past year, and that includes about 6% in the last three months. LAM Research is a global supplier of semiconductor manufacturing equipment and services, providing advanced solutions for the fabrication of integrated circuits. The company specializes in the development and production of wafer fabrication equipment, including deposition, etch and clean process systems, critical in the making of cutting edge semiconductor devices. Their Q3 earnings report is due out in just a few days on April 29th, and this is yet another company that is following up a beat in their previous quarter. For their Q3, analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $7.29, which would be a 30% increase over last year. For their Q2, they reported earnings per share of $7.52, coming in 40 cents ahead of analysts' expectations. Revenue for the quarter came in at $3.76 billion, which did grow nearly 8% year-over-year. The company does also pay a dividend at $2 on a quarterly basis for a dividend yield of 0.82%. 
Our top 1% analyst, Mark, recently weighed in on the stock, saying he expects the company to benefit from semi-cap secular drivers, namely bigger chips, complex manufacturing, trailing node buildouts, and semiconductor nationalization. They view the stock as a particular beneficiary of cyclical recovery in memory spending, increased demand for advanced packaging, trailing node demand, and gate all-around architectures. Mark gives the stock a price target of $1,200. And that would imply an upside potential of 37.5% from current prices. On the stock, he does have a 71% success rate. Lam Research also comes in as a moderate buy with 23 current analyst ratings, breaking down to 14 buys and 9 holds. The average price target comes in at $971 for an upside potential of over 11%. Down below here, once again, Mark is our street high price target at $1,200. We do have several other analysts with price targets above that $1,000 price point. And down below, we have our low end price target being a hold with a downside of about 1%. If you've made it all the way to our third stock today, this is your reminder to hit that thumbs up button. Now our third stock, recently rated by Mark, is On Semiconductor. They trade under the ticker ON, currently priced at $61 per share. Now their stock has actually declined over 17% in the past year and has dropped 18% in the last three months. With a market cap of $26 billion, On Semiconductor is a mid-sized player in the semiconductor industry. They make a wide range of silicon semiconductor chips, but specialize in chips for automotive, industrial, medical, aerospace, and 5G applications. They have 40-plus design centers operating in 19 countries, with 19 manufacturing facilities in 9 countries. The company will also be sharing their Q1 earnings report on April 29th and does follow an earnings beat for their Q4 a few months ago. For their Q1, analysts will be looking for earnings per share of $1.04, which would be a slight decline compared to the previous year. Their fourth quarter came in at $1.25, beating estimates by $0.04 cents per share, and revenue came in just over $2 billion. For the full year, they did have record automotive revenue of $4.3 billion, which increased 29% year-over-year. Now this is another stock that our top analyst Mark referred to as a tectonic shift play as a key supplier into the emerging Internet of Things market, which the firm expects to grow to 10 billions of units. They believe ON will remain a market leader in high-growth silicon carbide and will generate robust free cash flow while expanding their operating margins by 1,300 basis points over the next five years. He's given the stock a price target of $104 for our biggest upside potential today as that would imply an upside of 70% from current prices. Once again, we have a 71% success rate on the stock. On Semiconductor overall comes in as a moderate buy with 21 analyst ratings, breaking down to 15 buys, five holds, and one sell. The average price target comes in at $119 for an upside potential of nearly 96%. Looking down below here, we do have an extreme outlier with a high-end price target from Jefferies. A lot of the other price targets in that healthy double-digit upside, ranging from 20 to 88% upside, and our low-end price target is that sell rating with a downside of about 10%. So that is a quick look at three stocks recently picking up buy ratings from a five-star tech analyst. Now, of course, there was a long list of stocks to be covered, about 20, so you can head on over to Tip Ranks to see his full list of coverage. Let me know what stocks stand out to you the most in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. Of course, please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so make sure you always stick to your own investment plan. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thanks so much for watching, have a great weekend, and I'll see you back here next time.